Today we'll talk about the study and teaching of meanings in English language. Meaning is probably one of the most important component of learning any language because without meaning the learning of language may be useless on many occasions because recognizing sounds without their meanings may may mean nothing to the listener and therefore the, therefore the use of language may become overall meaningless the discipline in linguistics which deals with the study of meaning especially literal meaning is called semantics semantics has been defined uh, differently by many scholars and researchers and semanticists uh, most of them would agree that semantics is the study of meaning in language is the study of the meaning communicated through language or the study or a branch of linguistics which is concerned with the meaning in short semantics deal with literal decontextualized meaning in language it, it, it doesn't work on the meanings which are generated in a context rather it focuses on the meaning which are available in usually in dictionary or in the language as some semanticists believe that uh, this branch of linguistics which we know as semantics deal with how we organize uh, meanings in a language language uh, uses a system linguistic system through which we create and understand meanings and uh, for this it uses the combination of meaning which what are conventionally attributed to certain words or sounds and the phonological and orthograph orthographic forms which are available to us according to you a semantics can be defined as the study of the meaning of words phrases and sentences so it is not reduced to individual words only in semantic analysis uh, we know the researchers usually use the conventional meanings which have been uh, conveyed to us through native speakers and various dictionaries com compiled by uh, uh, the famous researchers or famous publishing houses the word uh, semantics has its or origin in a greek word sign and in recent times we could see it's michael brail who uh, who coined this term semantics and he is also considered uh, the father of contemporary uh, semantics the contemporary uh, semantics focuses on the relationship between signifier which are in in terms of language are the words phrases or sentences and uh, the meaning themselves which are uh, arbitrarily associated with with the words semantics also tries to explain what meaning is actually it is not reduced to to finding the meanings of the words but also try try to define uh, what we mean by the meaning and how meanings are constructed by a language and then they are interpreted and negotiated by the speakers and listeners of the various languages Uh, in this regard we we can also say that semantics is uh, very closely related to another discipline of uh, linguistics which we know as pragmatics however it is quite different from uh, pragmatics in a sense that pragmatics deals with the meaning of the language in use whereas semantics deal with the meaning uh, which are conveyed to us uh, within the language when and uh, deciding about meanings uh, within semantics as i have mentioned already that uh, the researchers usually rely on native speakers intuitions their intuitive meanings uh, wherever there would be a confusion in the meaning of a word probably it's the native speaker who would take edge uh, regarding his or her opinion about the meanings of that particular word semantics is also related to semiotics semantics is is the study of meaning in language as i have said already and semiotics is the, is the study of signs and symbols 
and it also it may also include linguistic symbols uh, however we know that it's semantics which primarily focuses on linguistic symbols uh, in order to elaborate this relationship between semantics and uh, semiotics we need to see uh, very kinds of signs which are used in semiotics one of the important signs which are used in semiotics are those which are known as iconic signs iconic signs are those which relate to the real object uh, for example a picture so a picture is an icon of something uh, of which it belongs to so there is a re re resemblance between uh, the symbol between the sign and the real object an lexical sign is uh, is uh, is based on the relatedness uh, regarding uh, some sensory feature for example audibility or uh, visibility uh, in this regard we we could uh, cite an example as smoke is considered to be a, a symbol of or sign of fire uh, whenever we see smoke we could understand then there is some fire somewhere then we have symbolic signs in case of symbolic signs there is no essential relationship between between the word and the symbol the relationship is only conventional which has been uh, conveyed to us through various cultural norms and the uses of the language we also have some kinds of semantics as well uh, two typical kinds of semantics include uh, lexical semantics which deals with the meanings of words isolated words and phrases and we also have uh, sentence semantics or structural semantics with where deals with the meanings of words but in combination with other words and we could say it deals with the meanings of sentences as well these definitions uh, provide us an insight into into the into the definitions of various uh, of various scholars in relation uh, to semantics but however uh, these definitions leave us uh, with a question to define what meaning is we we all say that semantics is the study of meaning but what is meaning i'll try to answer uh, this question in in the next module